Hey everyone, let's learn some advanced talent topics today. We will create a mini project that parses a web page. Throughout this journey of creating this project, we will learn about multiple components. We will also learn about tips and tricks of creating talent jobs. Here is the plan. We'll go to Zach's website and in the URL, if you Change these last four letters with any stock code. It will show you the stock related details. In this case, I have pulled Apple stock along with plenty of other uh, statistics related to this stock. They also have their own custom scoring on the stock. In this case, the value is A, growth is D, momentum is F and VGM rating is D. The goal of our uh, project would be to pull down this A, D, F and D from this website. For this talent project, let's create a new job and we will have to first download ESTML parse component from their exchange website that can parse any web page and uh, then we can do some string manipulation on the contents to extract the data that we are interested in. We will send this data to a tjava row component in which we will do string manipulation to read the contents as well as transform it into a single row which contains uh, semicolon separated scores. We will send the data to a t-normalize component, which will transpose the data and convert that one row into four rows of data. And finally, we will display it in a t-log row component that shows us the quick view of the data. Let's switch to talent and create a new job called parse zax. Now the very first component is tstml parse which does not ship with your standard talent studio application. You need to download that from exchange. So click on this exchange link. First time it will ask you to register and sign in. And once you are done with that, you can search here for tstml parse. So here it is. Click on this view download link. Click install. Once you install it will be available in your palette. Just search for this, drag it and drop it on your job. I need the URL, so I go back to the website, copy the URL, come back to the components, and in the components, basic information that is URL, I replace example.com with the Zach's URL. This is all you need to set in this component. Let's switch back to Zach's website, view source of this page. So, this is the exact text you are going to get after parsing. So I am going to search for composite val. So that is where we have uh, uh, the rating stored. So this is the uh, this is the text I would like to extract and then figure out how to take out just these letters. Back to talent, I include a T Java row component. Send the HTML data to Java. This String manipulation generally takes some time to figure out all the combinations of functions you need to join together to get the required result. To save our time, I have already done the coding and I'll just paste it here and, and I'll explain each line of the code. So I've just defined two strings here and then this line input row dot document dot two string. This fetches the string output that we saw in view source of the browser and we store it in a variable called whole page. In the next line, we search for composite val and figure out its position. Next line uses a substring function to extract only 250 characters from the position where composite val ends. So if we look at the text, this is the text in blue color, which is extracted. So out of this text, we have lots of double quotes, which we will get rid of. We also have some new line characters. We will get rid of them too. And in addition to this composite valves, we have extra composite val VGM here in its class. So we will get rid of this one too, so that we have uniform composite valves and we can extract text out of it easily. First replace all removes all double quotes and replaces it with empty string, essentially removing them. The next replace all removes new line characters and replaces them with the space. The last one removes composite val VGM and replaces with empty string, essentially removing that one too. Let me maximize this code window. So next I have 
created another variable here and then I am going to split the ratings based on this composite pal greater than sign and this will result into one rating in each row or in other words it has split it into an array and I'm going to iterate through that array here with this for loop. I'll check if each rating has length of at least one character. Char at zero is going to extract only the very first character of that array element and assign it back to all ratings only variable. And it'll keep adding it to that along with the semicolon in the beginning. Essentially, it will end up having one rating and then semicolon in front of that. And finally, I will assign this all ratings only variable back to output row dot document. Let's do one more setup edit schema and we have so many output columns here that are flowing through and we do not need all of them. All we care about is this document column let's remove the rest of them by removing this you're essentially avoiding all the data that would flow between these components and in turn slow the process down whenever you do not need some parts of the data that is coming in any way you may want to review and see if it is really necessary to flow through further if you have no plans to use it in any way do not let the data flow through this is one of the way you can improve the performance of any etl process Let's see if everything we have done so far works as expected. I would take a t-log row. t-log row is a very handy tool to visualize the data very quickly. I just connect these two and then on t-log row I just make it a table and let's see if it works. Run it. There you have it. You have ADFD which is exactly what we were looking for. Let's do the last step of converting this one row into multiple rows, that is four rows. We'll first get rid of this t log row, p normalize. Drag it and drop it, connect them together. Now in this, instead of a comma, our values are separated by a semicolon, the only available column is document. So it is going to split the data it receives in document and it will convert the data into rows as soon as it finds a semicolon. And then let's connect this to a t log row. That almost completes our setup. And let's see. Run it. We received an error. It says the method split is unidentified for the object for the type object. I think this is not a big deal. Let's fix it. So we have let's see. We have the type object here, whereas it is supposed to be a string. So let's convert this to a string. And on the other side also it is subject, let's convert this to string, as we have string coming into that as well, let's check here, make sure yeah this is string, on the t log row let's check if this is all fine, document is string, string yeah, they should be all good now, let's see, clear, run, and make error. So the, this time the error is exception in t java row. Let's check the length of this component. And it's schema, yeah, see we have 100. We are supposed to have 100 and it is low. And yes, we want to propagate the this to t log row just to make sure this is 100. Come back to t java row, that also should have 100, yep. So let's run it again. Before that, I also want to change t log row into table format so that it shows me a nice little output. So I maximize run. I have a feeling that it has not recognized my changes, and for that, generally, all I have to do is simply close this job and open it again and run. Let me try doing that. There, that fix it and we have achieved the objective of our project. It is showing ADFD which were supposed to be the Apple's rating on Zax.
and we have successfully brought the data here. Now you can always send this data to your database and uh, record maybe further details such as the stock code and date and time when it was pulled and any other details. And you could uh, definitely do some analysis on the data that you gathered, such as making a decision to buy or uh, sell based on the changes in ratings and various other things. For now, we will just stop this video here, but probably in our future videos, we will extend the same job to do further things. Hope you learned something new from this project. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive updates about more videos on this channel. Thank you.